Hello, you wonderful people. Today, we're going to be looking at how we can Dockerize our Symphony 7 application. Now, I must say, I know everybody, generally, most developers hate Docker, or at least interacting with it in any way, shape, or form, because it is a nightmare. But hopefully, we will make this the least painful it possibly can be. So let's dive in. Um, first, I need to give you a little heads up. Um, we'll be using a, a method or an approach called base images um, that I've created previously, um, or at least with a friend of mine. And what this does is it gives you um, caddy and PHP inside of an image um, that is stored on GHCR. And essentially you don't really need to know how it works all you need to know is that it does work and that we don't care right so that's that's kind of it <laughs> so let's uh, jump into the code um, right so this is what we have in a symphony 7 project by default we have this composer yaml and then composer override um, and in here we have um, some stuff which is yeah fine um so all we need to do to make this work to get this working is we can delete the composer yaml don't need that that can die and then i've put into this temp folder which i uh, this is in a git ignore actually and i use this for temporary temporary files um and then we're just going to pull those in and that is it some of the you'll be able to find these files um in the um, the repo and you can uh, you can copy them yourself um, it will be in the link in the description so let's just have a look at what's going on the docker file we don't really need to know I mean it's some magics happening here right we don't really need to know what's going on in there it's um, it's kind of out of the scope of symphony but we need to you know the objective is we want to use docker with our with our project because it can be quite useful if you're working in a team um, so that you can all share the docker file or docker compose file and then everybody has the the same thing and they don't have to install things on their individual machines right so that's pretty useful so what do we have we have uh, php um, and this is the base image i was talking about earlier so it's pulling an uh, image from ghcr and this is one that i created earlier then we're pulling another image from the same thing from uh, a repo of mine um, and this is Caddy, which is the web server, and it includes uh, Mercure, uh, which is, um, if you don't know what that is, you can Google it and you'll figure it out. Next, we have Asset Mapper Watch. So this essentially is replacing the, uh, if you're using um, Encore, this will replace the JS Watch. Um, so this is just watching our uh, scripts and then it will rebuild when necessary. And then here we have the database, um, which we're using Postgres. And then also we're using Adminer for interacting with the database in a um, non-application based way. So if you want to see what's actually going on, we access it through this, which is pretty cool. So the only thing you really need to change in this file is the database name and the password. So here we're going to say YouTube uh, series, uh, series, um, let's say Sim Bunny 7 YouTube series. Um, and for the object of this, I'm just going to put them as both. So we have the user, password, and database. Cool. So now what we need to do is we need to go to our server, stop that because it won't work otherwise because it's going to use the same ports. So we need to stop both the tailwind and the server. And next, what we need to do is we need to create a dot env, oh, dot env, dot local file. Um, and what we're going to define in here is essentially copy everything from the env file. So we have it all in there. Um, but now we need to make some changes. So um, inside of the database um, URL. Um, so here we're going to have the root user and then the password was, I forgot already, <laughs> there we go. Um, the password was that and the 
um, database was the same. Um, and there we go. Uh, root user, password, database. However, we need to change the, um, the host. So this is going to be database, like so. Oops, so easy. And um, that should do the trick. So we've got root. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. And that's about it. Um, so now we can run docker compose, ooh, compose up dash D. And if you notice, um, if you notice very quickly there, eh, where's it gone? Eh disappeared but if you noticed it did have um, the mailer um, so it's starting the mailer um, thing as well and that's essentially what this uh, compose override is doing this is for whatever we want to run locally um, to be honest we don't actually need that in here at the moment but um, but what this means is we'll have mailer available in our setup as well which is pretty useful so, um, oh, there we go. Now we are ready to rock and roll. So let's head over to Docker Desktop. And as we can see, oh, it's already gone. Uh, we've got, it's loading there. So we have all of the um, containers running. So let's go and have a look at the admin uh, panel. Um, so if we go into here, um, it's Postgres and the username was root and the password was that which i'm going to copy because i can't be bothered to write it out and login and here we are we can see we have all of the um obviously it's empty because we haven't added any records so let's head back to docker desktop and now we're going to have a look at the mailer um container that I told you about. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to set up the um, inside of your .env, you'd have to set it up to the correct um, uh, DNS, but then any emails you send from your application will pop up in here, which is very useful uh, for testing emails. So let's head over to the application. So with this, we can just go to localhost. And there we go. We have the full application dockerized. Um, let's see events and oh, it's asking us to log in and obviously we can't log in because we don't have an account so we'd have to sign up but as you can see everything's working as it should uh, tailwind is also uh, compiling and the build is working so this is how we can dockerize our symphony 7 application if you enjoyed this video be sure to check out my book Use the QR code to find it. Have a good day.